Joey, I have been praying over this day for a very long time. Though as much as I dreamed about getting married one day, it was still tough to paint a picture of who that life partner would be for me. The truth is, I didn't know what type of husband I needed, so I prayed and prayed for years that God did. November 2nd, 2020, he knew. Abigail Mary, from the moment we met, I knew my life was forever going to change for the better. I am honored to become one with you today and feel so lucky to promise myself to my best friend. I have so much respect for you and your special way of making everyone you encounter feel like the most important person in the room. To me, it doesn't really add up. A small town kid from North Dakota was able to convince a stunning, humble, and loving woman like yourself to spend the rest of your life with her. My name is Kelly. I am Abby's maid of honor. Abby and I met about six years ago when she transferred to the University of Nebraska to do gymnastics. And we were very randomly roommates, housemates. We don't really even know how we both ended up in the same house together, but we did. Abby, I am so incredibly proud of you. The amount that you've grown in six years, our friendship has grown, the amount you've grown, like your heart is just huge. And like your love for God is inspiring. And um, Joey, I wanna thank you for being my best friend's safe place, for taking care of her, for watching over her when I can't be there. If I could be replaced by anyone, I'm glad that you are the top contender as best friend. Um, I wouldn't want it to be anybody else. And I'm so incredibly happy. If you don't know me, my name is Sam. I am Joey's older sister. And I think we were all curious to see the girl that Joey ended up with. In the Ozarks, we learned, they said, I love you on the first date. <laughs> they moved right along. <laughs> um, but regardless, I think I fell in love with you quicker than he did. <laughs> you still had two months before that first date. I know that I fell in love with you quicker than he did. And we're so lucky to have you in this family. And as you can see with all of these people here, we're here for you and we're here because of this love and no one's ever questioned it. It was, it's so meant to be, it's so perfect. Looking back a few years, I could have never pictured myself in this position. I had no idea that a tidal wave of love, hope and peace was about to come crashing down on my world. We met the day after I lost a brother, and the way you helped me through that tough time put your mature instincts and strong faith on full display. God's grand design is sometimes confusing in the moment, but it is both beautiful and magnificent when you appreciate it in the rear view. And man, do I appreciate you. I vow to recognize today as a lifelong commitment, whether the next 70 years brings pain or joy, You'll find me in my favorite place, right by your side. Yesterday, I called you my best friend, dance partner, and travel buddy, but today I call you my husband, and that makes me the most proud. Abby, my one and only daughter. Um, special, special, special to give your daughter away to a wonderful guy. It's awesome. It's my pleasure, and it's an awesome day. <laughs> As we enter this covenant together, please know this. Choosing you is the easiest decision I've ever had to make. And I promise to choose you every single day for as long as we both show up. Well, it's my privilege, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Joey, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Um, 
I've known Joey for 16 years, uh, believe it or not. Uh, we met playing tennis. Uh, Joey was not kidding when he said he's been scolded by a couple of officials in tennis matches. <laughs> uh, I can certainly attest to that. Um, you know, when you look on YouTube and uh, look at all like what the best best man speeches are, everyone starts saying like you know I'm a more handsome person and whatnot. Um, that was that was not me with Joey. Uh, he played D1, I played D3. He's a dentist. Uh, I barely made it through undergrad, so uh, <laughs> I, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Um, I'm really happy for you guys. Um, you know, Joey told me this morning if it wasn't Abby, it wouldn't be anyone. May your love increase for each other through the years, and may you continue to find joy in each other as long as you shall live. Cheers. Cheers.